Each week we look forward to receiving questions about health and wellness from viewers like you. And it's time to tackle today's Health Matters question. Hi Dr. Santora, I'm Rachel from Los Angeles. I've been hearing a lot about heart murmurs recently, but I don't even really know what a heart murmur is. Could you explain it to me? That's a great question, Rachel. A heart murmur is simply a sound that we hear with our stethoscope from the natural flow of blood from one chamber of the heart to the next. This is my daughter, Nikki. She's a Chapman student here, and she's going to help me demonstrate. But when we listen with the stethoscope, you'll notice that we travel throughout the chest over here because the heart murmur, the way the sound is transmitted, we can tell which of the four valves are leaking. And listening to a heart murmur is somewhat of an art. It's like learning a foreign language. You may hear the sound, but unless you're trained, you may not know what the valve, which valve is leaking, what it really means. But if we open the heart up here, you'll see that there's a valve separating the top and bottom chambers, and a valve can get narrowed, or it could be a leaky valve, and there's four of them. And I can tell where the blood is going and the sound of this valve, which valve is having a problem. And this is the sound of a normal heart, the lub-dub of the valve opening and closing. As the valve starts to leak more, you'll hear a louder sound as if you're squeezing a garden hose. And as the valve leaks or gets more narrow, it makes a louder sound that, sh that radiates further throughout the chest cavity. The problem in the past has been that if you had a heart murmur, we would give uh, antibiotics before dental work. Whenever you have dental work done or any kind of procedure on your intestinal tract, bacteria get into the bloodstream and they're usually cleared out of the bloodstream quickly. But with an abnormal valve, they tend to stick to the little nooks and crannies in the valve and cause an infection. So anybody who had a heart murmur, we would give them antibiotics before dental work to prevent an infection. We don't do that anymore. It seems that the antibiotics were causing more problems than they were worth. So the present recommendations are, if you have a uh, dental work, the only time you take antibiotics is if you had a prior infection, or if you have an artificial valve, or if you have some kind of congenital heart disease, some kind of defect in the heart that you were born with. We don't give antibiotics uh, before dental work if you have a pacemaker, or if you've had bypass surgery, or if you had a stent. Great question, Rachel. Most heart murmurs are innocent murmurs, and you don't need to worry about them.